So now, I don't know if you do remember O Rosemary Ndlovu, the serial killer for insurance, or rather the insurance serial killer who was a cop, and she is now behind the bars, and she has done it again, and this time it is for fraud, and they say, or rather the correctional services say, 9 July 2023, media statement as it reads, they say, we see, uh, um, Rosemary Ndlovu charged by DCS, which is the Department of Correctional Services, they say that he has internally charged Rosemary Ndlovu uh, for contravening the Correctional Services Act after being caught with a mobile phone and inmates found in possession of cell phones are charged in terms of Section 23. Uh, I don't know what is that. Um, I just want to say verse 1 but then I'm not sure what it means. It's not verse 1. There's a brackets and then you know, 1 and then close brackets and then they say that um, if you know what that means, uh, section 23, okay, I think it's paragraph 1, yeah, I think that's what it means, section 23, paragraph 1 of Correctional Services Act 111 of uh, uh, 1998, uh, they are then reprimanded accordingly, a process which may involve a withdrawal of privileges for a specified period. Uh, reclassification or meaning downgrade and other uh, punitive measures illegal activities and deviant behaviors by inmates has no place in uh, correctional facilities uh, dcx is working towards achieving a, a, a contraband free centers uh, hence different measures are being employed uh, by means of removing all illegal items in our centers was one theme. So now she was smuggling my cell phones inside prison. So now I don't know what you, what was it. Maybe you share my business at because I don't know if you have been following her story. So the start of Tabo Besta saga, she was in court for allegedly helping one of the cops. Allegedly, I'm not sure. I don't remember nicely. So hence, allegedly. It is still allegedly because uh, I don't remember her being found guilty of that. Maybe it has happened. If you have been following her story, please do comment it down below in the comment section. So they were saying, Guti, uh, she was helping another lady who was a cop also to, uh, you know, end to slice somebody ukuthi amthumele kwaguqanyawo ukuthi bamthumele kokhoko umkhulu ukuthi bamthumele ukuthi ayobona uNkulunkulu ukuthi bamthumele ayobona uJesus or whatever you want to call it bamkhahleli sibhakede but then ke like wabanjwa babanjwa or something like that i'm not sure like i just caught a little bit of that court session the thing that yeah do my in all of our minds at that time was that of Tabo Besta because when that court hearing was in session it was at the same time as mangabe guguti mangabe sekbuya otabo besta no nandi pama kudumani from tanzania so um yes you can go ahead and comment it down below in the comment section and let me know what, what do you think of uh um rosemary love asayim shiga shiga ejele like uh, you know what? A lot of people were saying, "Guti yezo tini lo mama lo opugega ngati la kuzo figa ipele liga nande chele." Even when mangabe say lo kuzane say says for that court after she was charged. So now when she was going for this court with this other lady, uh, whereby uh, they are attending, guti like guti wawa inga tisu mama lo no guti bangamle ze indotale. So uh, she looked very good for herself. She even gained weight. You could see guti yezo tini nande way le. Like, you know the look that that evil look like with him and Gazimin. so she was still having it i don't know if you have been watching it and following oh rosemary please do comment down below in the comment section and thank you so much for watching i'm gonna see you next time next time